Hi, this is Deb Sokovic with Dual Dot Media. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a pearl in Photoshop. Here's our finished product. It's just white with a little shadow around it. And so we're going to start all over from scratch. And because it's white, we want to um, just start with a gray background. I always like to start with a 250 by 250 pixel. And I do like to start with a 300 DPI, even though web is basically 72. But for today's purposes, we're going to use 300 DPI. So we're going to go to a very light gray for the background, and we're going to fill it. We're going to change our top foreground color to white, take our ellipse tool, hold our shift key down, and draw a nice round circle. Now I have it off center just a hair bit. We are going to rasterize our shape. Now we're going to the layer palette and we are going to go and do an inner shadow. At this point, it looks like it's inset, but because I'm going to increase the size of the shadow, it's going to give it a more round feel. But I don't want, I don't want it to be that dark. So we're going to take the opacity down and we'll leave the blend on multiply. I also like to do a small stroke, a one pixel stroke on a very, very almost white color, not quite white. Not quite gray. just enough to define the edge. Now because I really don't want the lightest part of that to be in the middle, we are going to go up and add a new layer. That is after I select my ellipse again. And keeping white in the foreground and taking a very soft brush, I'm just going to add a highlight, paint it on just right there, give it a little bit of a, a glow. I'm going to go up into filters and go over to the Gaussian blur and blur that out. because this is all preference and you may think it's necessary, unnecessary, but for me, this is just my preference. Now we're going to work under the pearl with a shadow. And of course, Photoshop has drop shadows in their layer, but for me, a more natural shadow is to take a smaller brush, put a new layer under the piece, and draw a line. Use your arrow tool. Go into filters and use emotion blur. And I have that set to 55 pixels. Now, as it sits, it, it doesn't look so bad, but it's directly under the pearl. Normally, that's not a how a shadow would look. So we're going to take that and we're going to move it off one way or the other. Because as you see, we have the light hitting the pearl from the top left and the shadow on the bottom right. So 
the way light and dark hits, the shadow would be to the bottom on the right. So we're going to leave it, it gives it a more natural look. We're going to take the opacity down, or I'm sorry, the fill down a bit. It doesn't have to be that dark. And there's your pearl.